<laughs> I had a dream last night that I remembered. At least I remembered some of it. Okay, so I dreamed that I got married. Um, but the guy that I got married to was like older than my dad, I think. And um like I had known him when I was a little kid, which is kinda that's a little creepy. Um let's see. I remember like after I got married I went to some hotel room um to like put my stuff there or do something I don't know and then, uh, I was worried that maybe I wouldn't get the discount that I was expecting or something or the price would be too much but I was like trying not to worry about it and uh let's see yeah it was a maid there and I feel like she did something or said something but I can't remember what it was um but it's kind of weird that there was like a maid in there while I just got there. Wasn't anything for her to do in there. For some reason she was in there and then um let's see. My parents were there. Um They were really awkward around each other. There was like a lot of tension. My parents are not together in real life. <laughs> um, yeah, and like we were going to all these stores or something. I don't know what we were doing. But like one of the places was like apparently a place that my dad used to hang out and um it was like him and my brother we hung out there together and there was some sort of notebook that he had written in and there were like there's like mean things about my mom in there and she was right there where and I was like worried that she was gonna see it cuz I don't know and then uh Oh yeah. Sorry. <sighs> Still pretty tired. <clears throat> oh, one funny thing. I did a tarot reading last night with my funky deck that I made up. Um <laughs> I I did this spread that was three cards. Um, but one of the cards was um what should I remember? And I got one of my picture cards that says, really hot coffee. <laughs> so I'm remembering that right now. Maybe I'll have some this morning. Anyway, um, okay, so in my dream, the only other thing I remember is I was really excited that we were married or something. But then he seemed really blank after that, where I think he had, like, interacted with me and stuff. In other parts of the dream but like after supposedly the part of the dream where we were married although I don't remember a wedding in the dream I just like knew we were married or something um but he just seemed really blank and and empty and stiff like a robot so like I remember feeling kind of worried about it or like I was just like like a really deep in my stomach just kind of like agitated about the fact that he's being different and I didn't know I was like worried anyway so yeah that's what happened in that dream I had a second dream that was about Jim Gaffigan <laughs> Jim Gaffigan and his family visiting the museum and apparently I guess it was a museum or some sort of other attraction uh, and like they were videotaping it that's how I could see what they were doing they were like had a handheld camcorder or something and um camcorder that's probably so old 
GoPro <laughs> or an iPhone. <laughs> I don't know what they had. I couldn't see their camera. But anyways, anyways, it doesn't matter. It's a dream. Okay. Um, they there was like some sort of baby that they were going there to see, like a live baby, but he was somewhere else, and they were like, oh, don't come here to see him because he's gone to the other place. And then they were in the car, and Jim Gaffigan was in the back with like one of his little sons and the, the little kid was looked just like him it was like a tiny version of him and then I realized like oh Jeannie must be in the front seat taping him but I never thought about who was driving I guess there could have been someone else I didn't know about and then their car definitely wasn't big enough to for all their kids and there was only like the one kid there so it's kind of weird <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah. There. Yeah. There was one um part where Jim Gaffigan was making these jokes to his little kid. There was like a board game or something. And there was little pieces that looked like little military ships or something. And he was making up funny names and like the kid knew exactly what they were even though they were totally arbitrary. And was like some sort of quiz I don't know <laughs> that was weird so okay so those are the dreams that I had so <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my dream book and look up some stuff and see if I can figure out what the hell that stuff meant because the first thing I Maybe I'll look up parents first. It's like right now that feels like the sharpest part of the dream. And then OP. Parents. Parents. You're seeking help from the outside. Often an expression of considerable immaturity in adults. Dream parents are a hint that you need to be a good father or a mother to yourself. Are you a mother to yourself or are you a loving father to yourself? Okay. Um, it says that there is a heading for father and for mother, so I'm going to look that up individually. Because there are definitely some distinct interactions between them, so whatever they represent would mean something. Father. There we go. Um, it says chief, teacher, king. So they must have similar meanings. A person who teaches the laws of life. The archetypal father figure stands for the need for security, order, authority, and achievement. And awareness or consciousness. Having it appear in dreams is often an expression of a bad conscience. The dreamer has a problematic relationship with the father. Father in the dream would appear as the Pope or as Almighty God. The father who guides and controls the dreamer's world. Well, it wasn't like that. Uh, according to Jung, the image represents the one who generates and creates the intellectual principle and the one who gives life. Yeah, so I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that it's my intellectual side versus my emotional side. <laughs> that typical struggle. Great. My favorite. Alright. Look at Mother anyway and see if it has anything special to say. Mother. Your own nature. The archetypal feminine. What do you know? Life-giving, nurturing, devouring, protecting, that which is fruitful and fertile. Let's see. Okay. Father one said security and order. And this is... Yeah, so it's kind of like... Um like left-brained versus right-brained, you know, even though 
I don't think scientifically that's true, but, you know, we all know that concept. So, father is like, um, not just logic and intellect, but also, um, realism, where mother is like feelings and intuition, basically, creativity, and, you know, so basically the top half of my personality, <laughs> the part that I am supposed to be using that is like my strength and is more healthy for me, that, but it, it feels inferior a lot of times to me, so sure that that has something to do with this interaction, so I'd say, like, um, yeah, the father side, like, security concerns and being strict and being, um, critical is really negative against the mother side, which is what I need, you know, but I feel negative about it, I feel... I know that I do. I'm trying to get more comfortable with it and accept myself, like accept that part of myself. But I still do have strong, strong concerns, I guess, and strong fears about how reliable it is and just ruining things because, um, just because of not being reliable, I guess. Just because of not being... Because of its lack of realistic focus and attention, like... You know, in those, those parts, like, my feelings and my intuition, realism isn't necessarily that important in them. Um, you know, however I feel is not always dependent on what's really happening. And, um, but it affects me the most, more than anything, so I think that that creates a tendency to be delusional or psychotic, and I, it's not something that I want to be. Um, I want to be a reasonable person. I want to acknowledge and accept reality. I don't want to be, like, just living in my own fantasies, like, it feels bad, actually, maybe because I already know, I don't know, it's confusing, I know that they're all connected, and so maybe I can rely on my feelings and intuition and still, and still have them help me, but I just, I know that just those things, even though they're my strengths, they're not enough to keep me, I'm afraid, I guess, they're not enough to keep me on track with things or to make me successful at things, but supposedly they are what I need to do this to actually be successful, so still some I'm trying to work out. Uh, I'll read a little bit more about mother here. Um, when the mother is your mother, she indicates a bad conscience, because of past behavior toward her. When the mother refers to the internal mother, it points to a desire for psychological support. Is often not provided by a partner. Mother in a dream, as well as in fairy tales, is often the helper whose strength in a negative as well as positive sense reaches beyond death. She is the witch, the wise old one who gives correct advice. The earth and the goddess of the earth, the symbol of the mother. Oh, it's on the next page. Also addresses the task of self-discipline. Be a good mother to yourself and thereby become productive. According to Jung, the mother is the archetypal symbol of the secret, the hidden, the dark, the abyss, the temptation, the poisonous, and the inescapable. It's interesting. Yeah, I think my interpretation is still probably the most accurate for me. I myself in my dream didn't interact with them as much as, as them interacting with each other. Um, so, it makes sense to me. Okay. Let me see if there's one for marriage, or wedding, or husband. Marriage. Marriage. 
union of contrasting parts of yourself. Oh my god. This is like an unending theme for me right now. Often your feminine and masculine sides. Longing for a permanent bond. <sighs> Indeed. Well, I think I've talked about that at, at length. Maybe I will look up husband since there was that one part where I felt like weird about him. Let's see what that means. Husband. Where are you, husband? Oh, it's probably under spouse. Duh. Okay. Hello, man. P Q R S. It's not here. Damn it. Uh, I don't know what that would be under. Partner, maybe? Oh, maybe. Partner. Symbolizes your own often unknown characteristics. Or maybe connected to the partner in your relationship. Wow, that was insightful. <laughs> Not. Okay. Unknown characteristics. So, I guess that fits. I guess that fits because I, in the dream, he was like, really blank and stuff. Maybe I'll, I'll look at like, um something about an older man. I don't know if I should look up older or man. So it's kind of like whatever him being like an older person represents and then me not knowing him or, or not knowing him but him being like blank and I you know that could represent like me not understanding that Sighting myself or something, so I'm sure to see what that might mean. I'm thinking it might mean like wisdom or something, like, um, and me not not feeling connected or not being sure about like my strengths, basically. Jay definitely would relate to that concept, so let me see. I'll look up old first. I don't know what things are going to be under. No. Man, see also companion. In the case of the woman, the dream may be pointing to a father figure or ego ideal. Ego ideal. Forgot about that. Okay. An older man represents the father figure in dreams of men as well as women. Or he may represent the dreamer himself. Okay, the ego ideal. And yeah, of course, father figure in there, but I'm... <sighs> right, which that makes sense. It's like maybe it's kind of like I had certain ego ideals that had to do with like what a father figure might represent, like. Like in the other um, description um, of father, how it talked about the intellectual side and security and shit like that. <sighs> hmm. 
but it's like now I don't know like maybe my ideals being conscious of it and realizing like that I don't see that as necessarily healthy for me, me anymore well there's some part of me that still values that more um, like leftover part I feel like maybe my ideals are adjusting to be more in line with um, with an intention to be more in line with what's actually possible for me what's appropriate for me and but I'm I'm still it's still new and it's still a little bit undefined I guess um, but at the same time in some ways I kind of want it to be undefined like that's part of me adjusting and being more like appropriate for my personality and um, more healthy for myself by being more open and being willing to consider things and keep open without always having to like slam down the gates and lock down on one idea you know um, and just I don't think that's healthy for me you know like I think that I can come to natural conclusions um, obviously like my first function is introverted feeling and it's a judging function and I have a lot of feelings and I have a lot of um, convictions about what's good or what's right or what I like basically what I like and don't like um, but I I feel like it's healthy for me to view those things as temporary like it's enough that I feel them now and I don't have to make them mean something for all of time like to just be observant of them and aware of them and dealing with things in myself in the, in the moment and in the time and try to stay open about it so so that makes me sort of uncomfortable sometimes though and something that I'm trying to get used to sometimes I like it and I feel like it's more healthy for me so anyway there's that I guess I could look up hotel room how am I gonna pee is before that HJKL. I know the alphabet. <laughs> Hotel. Symbolizes real or emotional changes. Stations on the journey through life, the transitional period. Adventure and restlessness. Hotel personnel symbolize some of our own internal entities. People in the hotel show us sides of our own unconscious. That's so weird. <laughs> I guess it's not that surprising that they would say that, but it's just like crazy because there's a maid and everything. I'm like, whoa. Um, yeah, so that fits with what I've been saying. Uh, change transitional period I don't really remember what the maid was doing she was like helping me or something I think but I don't I don't know like maybe I didn't quite trust her but I it wasn't like really negative or positive it was just like holding back because she was there or something I guess so that's mm. oh, it's interesting oh, I wonder if there's anything else to look up about that dream That's pretty good for that dream. I'll try to look up a couple things about Jim Gaffigan. 
Um, again, there's the one that about the man, ego ideal, um, and a father figure. That's weird, because it's another comedian, like that dream I had about Mike Nelson. Um, I don't know, he's funny, he has a job doing something that he likes, and he's able to, like, have a living and have life doing, I don't know, that's unique to him, and where people come to see him because they like him, and... People, like, appreciate him, you know, even if, I'm sure people don't know him personally, but, I don't know, that's something that I want, I guess. Something that I've been thinking about, like, I don't know, <laughs> like, I want a job or to do things or accomplish things that are about me and who I am and being able to express that or have people appreciate what I do because it's unique to me and not just because I'm filling a role so that's something I've been thinking about so that's probably something that Jim Gaffigan and Mike Nelson have in common um, maybe that's the ego ideal part because that's aha that's kind of cool to figure out actually that makes sense that's that makes sense like because introverted feeling um at least in socionics it says that that would be my ego um so yeah introverted feelings ideals are are um and personality hacker calls it authenticity so yeah i think that says that says it <laughs> cool yeah um maybe i'll look up kids or something or humor see so laughing Usually seen in a very difficult situation where laughing is the last thing you'd like to do. Laughing is a form of relaxation. Sometimes it is also an expression of the search for freedom and emotional peace within yourself. Hmm. Interesting. Look at museum. Usually represents the dreamer. What is being exhibited? Whoa, that's kind of like weird or interesting. So if the museum represents me, and the exhibit was supposed to be a child. <laughs> But, but they were not there. Whoa. That's kind of crazy. So it's like saying, like my ego ideal went to see my inner child, but it wasn't there. <laughs> That's a little freaky. Interesting. Oh. I wonder if there's something for like camera or video or TV or something. I feel like that should mean something. The fact that I specifically knew they were videotaping it. I mean, sometimes I think my brain just comes up with stuff like that to rationalize, like, why am I watching Jim Gaffigan and his family somehow? <laughs> Nothing in their video.
television, openness, enjoying contact, or lack of contact, mindlessness, superficiality, and diversion, possibly a mirror of a dream. Searching for orientation. Are you appearing on TV yourself, or what are you watching? It's important to know what kind of program is running. The program mirrors your mood. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Automobile. There's nothing under automobile. I guess they just. They're like me and they would just call it a car. <laughs> I think they have different headings for like car, truck, van. If that makes sense. They don't, they don't have one just for everything. Oh, vehicle. I bet that's what they put under vehicle. Yes, vehicle driving. Freedom of movement. You want to get away. You want to keep moving. You'd like to arrive. Well, that's fucking true. Type of vehicle indicates whether you're pursuing your own path and what progress you're making. Also, symbol for emotional independence and momentum. Hmm, okay. Well, that's kind of interesting, because, like, if, if, say, having the kind of job fulfillment that I think, that I perceive with people like Jim Gaffigan or Mike Nelson, um, doing the work that is unique to them and, let, and um, lets them be appreciated for being themselves um, that could fit with like emotional independence because yeah I feel like to to be independent emotionally and like to fulfill myself Emotionally, emotionally, or my ego ideals, like what I want, um, my authenticity, or whatever. I feel like I need that kind of a job or that kind of work and behavior. I can also see the superficial aspect of the TV one. I think that I. Sometimes I feel like taking care of myself or necessary steps, I view them as superficial because they're not the part that I care about. It's not the part that I want to get to. You know, like if I want to get things accomplished, but then I have to take time to care for myself emotionally or to work thing out, things out before I can actually like accomplish things, then sometimes I feel like uh, it just drags and I... I feel like I'm wasting time, I start to get agitated and nervous about, like, whether I'm just being lazy and stuff like that. So, I'm sure it's, like, I'm sure it's not impossible for me to be lazy, but it's kind of like, I'm not prone that way, actually because of the kind of anxiety that I tend to have and I have a real like fear always about not being useful um, so while I enjoy just like indulging myself I tend to not be satisfied with that unless I view it as the right thing to do for some reason like it's necessary so I'm trying to remember that, trying to like build trust with myself and not always trying to like assume that I'm doing things that I'm not doing because, you know, like appreciate my own good intentions and 
not attack myself every time I have like a relaxed minute <laughs> and appreciate like I don't know like sometimes I think I need to accept my own subjective needs for themselves and have that be good enough where like I always feel like I have to judge it against something outward and something objective or I guess it's not always objective like I just I want to judge it against something more concrete I guess either objective because it's like what other people feel or the or like uh, structure how it fits into things or because it's like past experiences tells me that it's necessary or something oh, oh man I'm tired you remember really hot coffee <laughs> I am remembering that we'll see maybe I will have some maybe okay well I think that should be good for this video I didn't look up the thing about the little board game and the military stuff and the jokes Jim Gaffigan was like joke quiz that he was having with his son but I'm just tired <laughs> and that was some interesting stuff thank you for going through it with me <laughs> I hope you enjoy my little dream analysis videos Bye.